For me, the main challenge was to design an educational program that provides both essential disciplinary knowledge and research structure to students uh, without restricting their activity. There must be a balance between the disciplinary academic content and the space allocated to innovation and thinking out of the box. Students in the CBL are confronted with um, an immense amount of data and knowledge provided by academics and non-academic professionals in different fields. Handling these materials can either inhibit or stu stimulate their interests and creativity. Each student uh, responds differently. It is uh, not easy to keep alive interests of every single participant and maintain the group on track and productive. I'm afraid this is a skill that I did not have and still need to acquire. Designing a CBL program requires networking and cooperating with teachers from various backgrounds and with non-academic stakeholders. Instead of being provider of concrete knowledge, teachers in a CBL program should be a guide to students, helping them to explore by themselves the knowledges and methods that they need. In another CBL program, I would probably give more space to students for their self-organization and initiative. However, much depends on, their, uh, on the concrete circumstances. For example, how busy the student semester is, uh, what response comes from stakeholders, and so on. I would also provide students with clearer guidelines and methodological instructions in order to facilitate their research project design.